All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy, or should I say Cocktail Daddy? That's right, it's New Year's Eve this week, so I thought, no cooking. Let's get the bar open and I'm gonna show you an awesome cocktail. Now this is one of my favorite cocktails. It's a lovely, fresh and vibrant lemon drink. Um, you can make it with four different types of spirits and it works really, really well. I'm also gonna show you how to make simple syrup, which is pretty much like the backbone of all cocktail making. So anyway, enough chatting, let's make a cocktail. I need one and a half ounces of gin and for this I'm using Bombay Sapphire. I need three quarters of an ounce of triple sec. Now triple sec is an orange liqueur. You're probably familiar with something like Cointreau or Grand Marnier. I really recommend you go and buy this. It's the only thing you're probably gonna have to buy for this. Um, but basically you can make loads of different cocktails with it. We also need three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup and I'll show you how to make that at the end. And we need three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now let's add some ice into the cocktail shaker. Let's get the lid on and give that a really good shake. Now I'm gonna serve this in a beautiful coupe glass which has been chilled in the freezer. Then all I need is a nice piece of lemon. Give that a squeeze, rub it around the rim of the glass and then pop it in the top. Now guys, if you don't like gin, don't worry about it. We can make it with other spirits. So we can also make it with vodka, with Bacardi and also brandy. Now, if brandy seems a little bit left field, trust me guys, it's absolutely delicious. In fact, it's very similar to a classic cocktail called a sidecar. So what you find, you get a real lovely depth of flavor and you can also finish this off with a little bit of orange peel instead of lemon peel. All you need is equal parts sugar and water. So for this, I'm using 300 grams of sugar and 300 milliliters of boiled water. Let's pour the water into the sugar, give it a stir around, wait until it's dissolved, and then I pour it into a bottle and keep it in the fridge for up to a month. That is how easy simple syrup is to make. Now guys, we've gone a little bit off piste from family cooking, but I thought, you know what? It's New Year's Eve, you might have kids and you might be staying in, so let's make some awesome cocktails. Can't thank you enough for all your support this year. It's been absolutely fantastic. We've got some great stuff happening next year, uh, which I can't wait to share with you. Um, so thank you again. You've been absolutely amazing with all your support. Make sure you tell your friends and family to subscribe to the Kitchen Daddy Cooking Channel, and I will see you in 2016. But until then, here are some highlights from 2015. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, guys. 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 Welcome, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. Welcome to the Kitchen Daddy Cooking Channel. Channel. Blah, 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 blah. Today we're making. Today we're gonna make what I like to call yummy, yummy chicken curry. You see the camera over there? We don't want coffee on there, do we? And I know I say this every single video. Absolute heaven. Absolutely stonking. That is absolutely. That is so good. Awesome. So we're going to fire up the grill and we're going to make a Southern Californian classic. It's not a Southern Californian classic. Favourite, Southern Californian favourite. It's a Mexican classic, not Southern Californian. Let's start again, yeah? And I'm sure some of you have had some sticky, gloopy rice which you've kind of regretted. Not regretted, there's nothing wrong with regretting. Regret, do you regret rice? No, you don't. Anyway, let's start again. Do you like it, Max? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah!